Good day and welcome to the Abe 3411 Agricultural and Biosystems Power Engineering. In this video we will discuss the sources of farm power. To begin with, I would like to start by saying, great power, comes with great responsibility. The different sources of power are, human power, animal power, mechanical power, electrical power, and renewable energy. So, let talk about human power, on an average, a man can develop maximum power of about 75 watts or 0.1 HP for doing work. This human power is so much important as source of power for operating small implements, such as manual planter, cedars, corn mill, and other agricultural manually operated machines, it is also a source of power for small agricultural hand tools, like, grape hoe grass shears, head shears, lawn rake, pruning shears, rake, sickle, spade and other hand tools. Human power can also power stationary work like, chaff cutting, lifting water, threshing, winnowing and many other such works are done by manual labor. You can also use your human power to lift your girlfriend. Trivia, who is the only person who killed one-fourth of its world population during his time? The biggest difference between humans and animals is that humans are driven by reason and logic. Human can engage in intellectual activities, animals on the other hand, are completely driven by instinct, this are the fundamental difference that separates us from animals. Ok so much for human, let's go to animal power, this is the most important source of power on the farm all over the world and particularly on those developing countries. It is estimated that nearly 80% of the total draft power used in agriculture throughout the world is still provided by animals. This working animals includes, bullocks, buffaloes, camels, horses, donkeys, mules and elephants. These working animals are usually used in land preparation, weed management, crop threshing, and transport. This sum of this animal can generate about 750 watts or 1 HP for doing farm work. The advantages of using animals are, cheap to maintain, multipurpose use for meat and milk, self-replacement and fertilizer manure producer. Using animals as power source also has disadvantages, this includes, animals have limited daily working hours, animals need feeding and protection against pests and disease, slow high man slash power ratio, limited range of working conditions, and they require training. Like when you ride a BMW M1000RR you need to have trainings, my goodness what does BMW M1000RR doing in this video. The third important source of farm power is mechanical power that is available. Through tractors and oil engines. The oil engine is a highly efficient device for converting fuel into useful work. The efficiency of diesel engine varies between 32 and 38 percenter whereas that of the carburetor engine is in the range of 25 and 32 percenter. In recent years, diesel engines and tractors have gained considerable popularity in agricultural operations. Small pumping sets within 3 to 10 HP range are very much in demand. Likewise, oil engines of low to medium speed developing about 14 to 20 HP are successfully used for flour mills, threshers, and etc. Diesel engines of the larger size are used on tractors. It is estimated that about 1 million tractors of about 25 bhp range are in use for agricultural operations in the world. Note, if you do not have tractors you can use your Bugatti Veyron for land prep. Advantages of mechanical power are, efficiency is high, not affected by weather, can run at a stretch, requires less space, cheaper form of power. The disadvantages are, initial capital investment is high, fuel is costly, and repairs and maintenance need technical knowledge. In today's situation electricity has become a very important source of power on farms in various provinces of the country. It is steadily becoming more and more available with the increase of various river valley projects and thermal stations. The largest use of electric power in the agriculture is for irrigation and small machines. Besides this, 
the use of electric power in dairy industry, cold storage, fruit processing and cattle feed grinding has tremendously increased. Advantages, very cheap form of power, high efficiency, can work at a stretch, maintenance and operating cost is very low and not affected by weather conditions. Disadvantages, initial capital investment is high, require good amount of technical knowledge and it causes great danger, if handled without care. Finally, the last source of farm power the renewable energy. Renewable energy is energy that is generated from natural processes that are continuously replenished. Which means, they are energy sources that is virtually unlimited, or they are constantly renewed. This includes sun, wind, water, biomass, tides, and geothermal heat. Let's talk about the sun first, the sunlight of the sun, can be converted into useful energy in few ways, photovoltaic cell, solar thermal technology and passive solar heating. The use of photovoltaic cells a material called semiconductor that converts light into electricity, so photovoltaic cells can convert sunlight into electricity because sun has a light, wait, what? Sun has a light, or light of the sun, one photovoltaic cell can only convert small sunlight into electricity, so, in order to generate higher electricity, we can group the photovoltaic cells to form the solar panel, with the solar panel you generate more electricity than a single photovoltaic cell. Hmm electricity huh, they say that when you touch the skin of your girlfriend you will feel small electricity, one way to prove this theory is to ask permission to your girlfriend to touch the skin of her hand to see if you will feel electricity. Now if you don't have a girlfriend the watch the concept of power and energy so that you will learn the magic triangle the key to have BMW M1000RR and a girlfriend as a back ride. My goodness what am I saying? Sorry, back to the topic the second way to use the sun as source of energy is, the use of solar thermal technology, where the heat from the sun is harnessed to hot water or to make steams. With the use of mirrors, or reflectors the sun rays are concentrated in one spot to heat water or liquids transforming into steam, this steam can be used to spin turbines that is connected to electric generator to generate electricity. Some generator does not need girlfriends because they are self-exciting generator. The third ways to use sun as energy source is the passive solar heating, passive solar heating is simple as letting the sun to shine on object. Let's say you learn the secret of the magic triangle, and you have a girlfriend, and a BMW M1000RR, you and your girlfriend go for a ride during sunny day, have you ever noticed how sunlight can make your body warmer? Even on a cold day? If so, you've experienced passive solar heating in action. Okay enough for the sun, the other renewable energy is the wind, and wind is defined as moving air. Wind energy is harnessed to generate electricity, to pump water they are also used to power sawmills. Wind is harnessed with the use of wind turbine, the wind will hit the blades of the turbine causing it to spin that rotates the shaft of the electric generator to generate electricity. Another renewable energy is the water, the energy of the falling water can be harnessed to produce useful energy with the use of hydro technology. To converts the energy of falling water, you need a water turbine, this water turbine converts the falling energy of water into rotating mechanical energy, which rotates the shaft of the electric generator to generate electricity. Another renewable energy is biomass, biomass is renewable organic material that comes from plants and animals including humans. This biomass can be converted into useful energy by, direct combustion thermochemical conversion, chemical conversion, biological conversion. Direct combustion or direct burning to produce heat that can be used in drying agricultural commodities, with the use of dryers. Another way to convert biomass to energy is thermochemical conversion to produce solid, gaseous, and liquid fuels this include the process of pyrolysis, hydrotreating and gasification, Pyrolysis is entails heating organic materials to 800 to 900 Fahrenheit, 
or 400 to 500 degrees Celsius in the near complete absence of free oxygen to produce as fuels such as charcoal, bio oil, renewable diesel, methane, and hydrogen. Hydrotreating is used to process bio oil, produced by fast pyrolysis, with hydrogen under elevated temperatures and pressures in the presence of a catalyst to produce renewable diesel, renewable gasoline, and renewable jet fuel. Gasification entails heating organic materials to 1,400 to 1,700 Fahrenheit, or 800 to 900 degrees Celsius with injections of controlled amounts of free oxygen, and slash or steam into the vessel to produce a carbon monoxide and hydrogen-rich gas called synthesis gas or Syngas. Syngas can be used as a fuel for diesel engines, for heating, and for generating electricity in gas turbines. It can also be treated to separate the hydrogen from the gas, and the hydrogen can be burned or used in fuel cells. The Syngas can be further processed to produce liquid fuels using the fissure Tropsch process. The chemical conversion is a chemical conversion process known as transesterification used for converting vegetable oils, animal fats, and greases into fatty acid methyl esters, which are used to produce biodiesel. The biological conversion includes fermentation to convert biomass into ethanol, and anaerobic digestion to produce renewable natural gas. Ethanol is used as a vehicle fuel. Renewable natural gas also called biogas or biomethane is produced in anaerobic digesters at sewage treatment plants and at dairy and livestock operations. It also forms in and may be captured from solid waste landfills. Properly treated renewable natural gas has the same uses as fossil fuel natural gas. Ok so much for sources of farm power, I hope you have acquired knowledge of the different sources of farm power. I will include link of videos in the description to further explain the different sources of power. One again with great power comes great difficulty in generating the power.